Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at some examples related to perfect square trinomials. Let us take an example and we want to factor this trinomial. The example here is 25a to the power of 2 plus 40a plus 16. Okay, so we want to factor this trinomial. As a first step, I'm going to show solve this problem two different ways and uh, I will show you how easy it is to be able to factor these types of trinomials. First we want to I, I want to write the given problem as follows 5 I want to write 25 as 5 times 5 or I can also write it as 5 to the power of 2 5 to the power of 2 a to the power of 2 plus 40a plus 16 I want to write as I want to write as 4 times 4 which is 4 to the power of 2 4 to the power of 2 okay 40 I can also write as 2 times 5 times 4 isn't it 2 times 5 is 10 10 times 4 is 40 so let me let me write that here let me write that here 5 to the power of 2 a to the power of 2 plus 2 times 5 times 4 times a plus 4 to the power of 2 okay so i can combine all of this as 5a the whole thing raised to the power of 2 plus 2 times 2 times 5 times 4 times a plus 4 to the power of 2 okay now we know that if we had if we have a a binomial raised to the power of 2 like this if i have let me write it let me write it with a different color a plus b raised to the power of 2 I can write this one as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, isn't it? So right now I have um, this form. If I have it in this form, I can reduce it to um, a square of a binomial like that. I can reduce a trinomial, and when I factor it, if it is a perfect, if, if it is a comes out as a square of a binomial then fine. Here it is. We can write this as 5a. We can write all of this as 5a plus 4. This is the base term. 5a is the base term of the first term. 4 is the base term of the last term. And then we take that and then raise it to the power of 2. Raise it to the power of 2. And when we do that, this is the square of the binomial and this is a perfect square this is a this these are the factors of this trinomial these are the factors of this trinomial and what happened to the 40a that is in here 2 times 5 is 10 10 times 4 is 40 and then 40a is inbuilt in here so that is the way we want to be able to um, be able to factor a trinomial uh, which which has which has uh, um, which comes out as a square of a binomial here. I'm going to show you another way. Okay, the, that is one way. I'm going to write that as step number two. We will take the given trinomial 25a to the power of two plus 40a 40a plus 16. Okay, then in here we want to know is 25 a perfect square? Yes, 5 to the power of 2. Is a a perfect square? Yes, a to the power of 2. Is 16 a perfect square? Yes, 4 to the power of 2 is 16. Now we will write the base term which is 5. Uh, we, uh, let me go back a bit here and then here. 5a squared I can write as 5a, the whole thing raised to the power of 2, right? And then 
4 to the power of 2, there's nothing happening there. I want to then write this as follows. I'm going to take the base term. What is the base term of 5a to the power of 2? 5a. What is the sign between the first and then the second term? It is a positive sign. What is the base term of 4 to the power of 2? 4. And if I were to put an open close parenthesis around it and then raise it to the power of 2, that is exactly what we have here. That is exactly what we have here. So this is a lot easier way to, to do a, to, to uh, factor a trinomial uh, which, ha which has perfect squares. Okay? The first term is a perfect square, last term is a perfect square. We should be able to use this method to be able to arrive at those types of uh, problems or uh, factor these types of trinomials. In my next presentation, we should look at some more examples related to factoring trinomials.